Okay, for all you Palm enthusiasts, uh, this is the HP Veer 4G from AT&T. Uh, you know, very small, and it is a, is a HP device that did a Palm, and uh, as I mentioned before, from AT&T. Uh, it's really a cute little phone, and it's got a little slider. The keyboard is small, but even though I have big thumbs, I managed to be able to use it uh, with my thumbs. So I want, I'll show you that later, but I also wanted to show you the, the cute little connecting device, um, and it's with a magnet. And it has, sorry if I can get to the right side, here is where it connects, and you just put it there. Sorry if I put it on the right way. And, sorry, and then plug it in to charge it. Um, and it's also got the USB uh, port so you can plug it into your phone as well. I mean, excuse me, to your computer as well. So enough of that. Let's just look at a couple of things. I just, I think it's cute and it's small. Yes, I have big hands and big thumbs, but this is a cute but simple little phone that does all of the basics. Um, I'm just going to show you the different sides. And um, just pretty simple headset. Uh, on and off. Okay, so here's the key to this phone that I found out, and I did a few little exercises, and this is good because my BlackBerry um, tablet uh, showed me this. So there's a little device right here, and you'll see it will light up right there, and it does all of the things. So if you want it to go, if you wanted to go back, you just go to the go to the right, um, and just do it like that. If you want to go up. You flip it up like that, and it reacts, and you'll see the light. If you want to actually tap on something, let's say we want to go on the camera, we, we can just go on the camera like that, and this one has a video camera. To get out of it, again, let me show you a good back swipe. And to get completely out of it, up swipe like that. So it's really, really nice, a uh, good combination of touch um, screen. So let's uh, get out of there. Let's look at the phone for portion. So. I like that it has the keypad here, and the keypad is large enough to be able to use, or you can, I don't have anything in the, con well, it looks like I do have some things in the contacts, uh, AT&T now, um, and other things in the contacts, so you can, you can search there in the contacts, but let's get out, and let's look at, um, what do we want to look at that we can maybe use the keyboard on, um, not the photos, but... Look at a few other things in the applications. That'd be a good one, a good use. Um, let's just do, let's pretend like we're adding an account, maybe. And let's do add an account. So let's do Facebook. I'm not going to add all my Facebook, but just for the purposes of showing you how we do this, I'll, I'll be feel free to, I'm just going to type. And you, you can see, I'm not making many mistakes. I'm typing a Monifa. Well, my mistakes are I mistakes, not because of the keyboard. And it's got a very easy keyboard to use. So I really like that. Um, and obviously, you can add Google and LinkedIn. I, I just, it's just very simple, very simple to, to use and to deal with and to get to the basic phone. And it does have. Um, all of, I mean, it's got a calendar, obviously email, all the things that you would expect in a phone in a cute little package. So I just wanted to show folks a quick look at this HP Veer 4G from AT&T. That's it.